Ladies, fellas, kids, all out turismo here. So yeah, uh, today we'll be setting up the PlayStation 3 controller uh, on a Windows PC. I use Windows 10, you might have the Windows 11, so it's not really the big of a difference between those two for this kind of installation actually. So yeah, uh, I'll be installing the drivers, the software called DSHID Mini, the Bluetooth drivers and setting up the assist for controller when driving uh, in a Seda Corsa. So stick up with me, uh, follow the every step, if you have questions please write them in the comments, I'll try to answer them as fast as I can and yeah, let's have fun! Make sure that you have Content Manager installed, if you don't have one, I have a video that I made for installation, I'll also put the links in the description. For this tutorial you will need the mini USB, DualShock 3 controller, internet connection and Windows PC. To use your controller wirelessly, you'll need the Bluetooth dongle. If you are on a laptop, then you probably already have a Bluetooth in it. If you are on PC, then you should buy. Just a reminder, Bluetooth is optional. If you don't want to play wirelessly or you don't have one, you can use your USB cable to power the controller. Alright, so just follow me up here, we'll, we'll be downloading some software, uh, these links will be in the description, follow what I do here, just click on there and download it started, I'll put those files in the desktop, it's easier to navigate, like this, cut and yes. In the next section you should pay, pay close attention to this, uh, I use 64-bit uh, Windows 10 so I'll download for my, my PC, if you're using different architecture then you should use the one, you should download the one you use. For this I'll just go with x64, let's actually check the architecture that I use, yeah 64-bit Windows 10. That's it. We didn't mess things. Alright, so now that we have the software downloaded from the internet, uh, make sure that uh, the VGM bus software is removed. It can sometimes make disruptions with this with this software. Software and yeah, it, I will extract this right now. Uh, this oh, it showed me the error, but I already have uh, one extract. I'll just delete it and extract it again so you guys can see. Uh, it's easier like that. After this, I'll do the watch this step. I'll just do the installation of uh, drivers that the, when you plug the USB, uh, the con the Windows can uh, actually recognize a DualShock 3 controller. This is the step for that. Uh, And here, we're done. Now we start the software to see if it's working. I started as an administrator in order to change some settings out there. Alright, so the program started. Uh, in this step, we need to use the our 
mini USB cable to plug the controller in. Uh, you might need to wait a few moments when you plug the controller. So Windows needs to install the, some drivers for the, the controller. Wait a few moments and it should work. It should be shown in here. Uh, we'll see if it will work when we test th these things out. <laughs> uh, it's too soon to actually say it's working. Yeah. <laughs> so I just plugged my controller and oh yeah, it's been shown here. Looks like it's wor it will work. Let's see, we have the X input here. Uh, actually it's a controller type, you can change, change to X input to Steam one. If you use emulators, you can use it for emulators. Oh yeah, great, great. It's just great for now. Just to mention, uh, this was only made to use with the USB. The, this process up on here. Uh, in the next uh, few steps, I'll show you how to use it wirelessly, how to set up the Bluetooth driver, uh, how it's working in a content manager, there are some stuff that needs to be done there too. Let's test this out to see how it works. Let's see if it's shown in uh, settings. Oh yeah, it's here. As you can see, uh, DS3... Uh, I just moved some analogs and it's working. Time to do some testing, guys. The classic Mazda RX-7 Rotary, one of the greatest JDM cars. Uh, there are many of those Japanese domestics that are just amazingly made. The steering is working. Great. Let's see if the gearing works. Oh yeah, it's working. It's working just fine. Alright folks, uh, now that we finished setting up uh, PS3 controller using USB cable, let's do this with the Bluetooth dongle. Uh, here I won't be able to install it because I already did. Uh, you just need to install this as a usual program, as usual software. After the installation completes, uh, just restart your PC, it might take a moment or two. Then try and open the DSHID mini software. Uh, when you open it, as you'll see in this tab, there should say it. everything is fine, yeah. <laughs> if there is something uh, that is not working correctly, it will say there. So I will, right now, just put my controller back in with the cable. Just give me one moment. Alright, there it is. Uh, you just unplug the USB and it should load automatically. I'll just minimize this for now and go into Content Manager to see if it is working. Uh, the light did go up on the controller, so yeah, it's working. Quite a job we did not out there. I suppose it wasn't too hard for you guys. Uh, yeah, as I promised, uh, I will be showing you how to install a assist for the controller so that you can use it as an arcade in, ar in an arcade style. It's much easier, much simpler to drive with. Amazing job was done by making this. Whoever made it is great. So yeah, let's read the instructions we have. Uh, I'll just go with this. Use these two files and you should in, uh, extract them into the installation folder of the Assetto Corsa. In my case it's in uh, partition D. Go in there and 
usual folder, Steam library, Steam apps, common. You just paste them out there and that's it. Now we need to do some setting up in content manager so that we can activate these, these scripts. Uh, I'll just go to settings and just watch me watch me out here what I do. Uh, it's it should be this one should be on active and you just select the this those uh, this file that we just installed in there. Uh, make sure that custom shader patch is on a newer version for this to work. And also for the first time you should enable it in game. Uh, I'm just long, I I will just launch the game right now to show you where where you can find this uh, this loaded script so that you can enable it. If I can say it like that, go into drive and yeah, it's right there. Uh, there you go. You can see here we have the some options. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with that with those right now. Uh, you can do the you can use the presets. I usually use them. It's much easier than setting up. They're they're quite good. So yeah, uh, that's it for today, those were all the steps, if you have some questions you can ask them in the comments, I'll try to answer them if I know how to fix them. Ah. <laughs> I just couldn't go out without scratching it. Alright, so before I go, uh, I might uh, need to mention that if by any chance Content Manager or uh, DSHID Mini won't start, uh, you might need to install Visual C++ libraries uh, that usually fixes the problems with games, with software not launching, DirectX also needs, needs to be installed by default. Uh, direct, direct, DirectX is used for games too, so yeah, you should always start with that. Uh, try to restart your PC. It's stupid, but even I made make mistakes like uh, those sometimes. When it's not working, I go, oh, it might be this, might be that. Let's uh, remove this. Let's install the something uh, software. And all I just needed to do is restart the, the, the PC and it worked out, worked like a charm, if I could say it. So yeah, try to restart the PC, uh, see about those drivers that I mentioned. You know, the, the usual, usual problems you can get here is a program not launching, uh, or controller not being shown, or Bluetooth won't connect. That's the usual three problems that you can get when working with, uh, with this kind of stuff. So yeah, uh, folks, thanks for watching, uh, I hope that I have uh, helped you in some way, uh, have a nice day and we'll see you in the next tutorial, goodbye.